Okay, I'm going to be doing some uh, testing. I'm going to test your near point of convergence, accommodative amplitude, convergence facility, and saccadic eye movements, both vertically and horizontally, using this new device called the uh, OMAT. Okay, so let's assemble it first. And uh, first we're going to do saccad. So what I want you to do is you're going to be holding this up right in the back like this, so it's right against the brow there. Okay, so why don't you try that? Set that up for yourself. Great. So do you notice there's an X here and an X over there? Yes. So what I want you to do over the next minute, I'm going to time you. You're going to do this for one full minute. Let me get my timer ready. And you're going to do it as quickly as you can. I want to see how many times you can go back and forth in one minute. Okay. Okay, I'll tell you when to start. Ready? Begin. Good. Stop. All right. Very fast. Uh, over 130. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing, but this time it's going to be oriented this way, so you're making vertical eye movements. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you when to start. So we're going to do it. How, how did you feel, by the way, when we did that? It was tiring, tiring after tiring. a while. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Begin. Excellent. Okay, now the next step is I'm going to take this little gadget off and we're going to put on these letters here, uh, a line of vertical letters, kind of like what we've used before. So what I want you to do now is uh, this is going to measure your near point of convergence and we're, I'm going to hold this up right about here. Your job is to look at that line of letters mm -hmm. and tell me when that becomes double. It doesn't matter if it's blurry. Just tell me when it becomes double. Still, still okay? Mm -hmm. Is it double there? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Now I'm going to move it away. Tell me when it comes back to one. Here. Right there. Great. Okay, let's do it with one eye now. Hold this up in front of your left eye. This time I want you to tell me as soon as the letters become blurry. Okay? Okay. Here we go. Are they clear now? Yes. Tell me when it's blurry. Here. Great. Eight. Now cover your other eye. Let's do the same thing. Tell me when it becomes blurry again. Here. Right there. Okay. Okay. The final step is we're going to be using these lines now, this vertical line. There are going to be two of them on this stick. Here's another one, right? Another vertical line. This one's going to go right over here. And you're going to hold this up yourself now, like this, right where it was before. And why don't you do that for me? Get that position comfortably. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is look over at this line here. You see one vertical line back here? Yes. While you look at that vertical line, how many do you see up close? Two. Two, exactly. Now look at the close one. While you, while you bring that together, can you get that together? Yes. Do you see one? Yes. Two of these in the background? Yes. That's what you should be seeing all the time. So now instead of doing eye movements left and right or up and down, you're going to be moving, doing convergence and divergence movements. So as quickly as you can over the next minute, I want you to achieve single vision with the far line and then the close line, back and forth as quickly as you can. Okay. You understand? Yes. Ready? Here we go. Great. Which uh, made you feel more uncomfortable looking close? The close or looking one. Looking far, the close one? Definitely. Good. Okay. Thanks, very good.